Hi everyone, welcome back to Pelagans.com. I'm Carl from Airbus Review SA. Today we've got the Air Gun Technology gun here with us today. It is the Vixen style. Look at that. This is the Vixen in short. Uh, we've got the, if you can see, it looks almost like a nice AR-15 style magazine that is on it. But in, in actual fact, this is also additional extra that you can put on the gun. Listen, it doesn't work. It is just to hold your magazines. It's not a feeder into your gun. So it takes a normal magazine that you can put in from the side here. But it's just a place where you can keep your magazine. And it is also retentioned with a magnet. As you can see, it just slides in by itself. So this is additional extras. It doesn't come with a gun. You can buy it, like I said, extra. But anyway, if you have a look at this air gun, look at how nice this thing is. The weight on this thing is pretty light. I mean, this is a very compact gun. You'll see that this thing has got a nice silencer, suppressor here on the front, over the barrel. And there's your pellet probe. You'll see that this cocking lever, you'll be able to change it to the left, to the right. And then if you have a look at the back here, you'll be able to put your cheek on both sides. So this is a true ambidextrous air gun because you can change the cocking lever to the left and the right and obviously your face to any side you want it. So this is pretty nice about this gun. In terms of accessories, we have this full station that comes with your gun. Very nice one. It allows only a certain amount of air to go through this um, pellet probe. So it doesn't overfill very quick, so it's it's a bit regulated. But anyway, you get like O-rings, you get a pen, you get your magazine, and you get a nice little keychain for you. Um, very high quality equipment that comes with this gun. Um, if you can have a look, you even got your book. You see you got your Vixen, short and your long. If you go through it, it will tell you how many joules, um, what, how you can set it, how you can change your cocking lever. It even tells you the Vixen short here, which is just called the Vixen. Um, the barrel length is 250 milli, uh, millimeters. Um, your air tank is 250 cubic per square inch there. Overall length is 770. And the overall weight is 2.2 kgs. I mean, that is super light. You can put a red dot on it, or you can put on a nice scope. That's pretty short and it will be, it's quite light to hold up. So if you can see, even with this little grip here, it keeps it as a nice sturdy place to hold the gun. It's very well balanced. Your air tank is at the back. You've got a butt pad here. You can adjust it up and down if you need to. You can charge your gun up to 300 bar, not 250. So you'll get a lot of shot count out of this little bottle here. Um, more else to say, it's got a nice Picatinny rail on the top here that you can put on Picatinny scope mounts. And then obviously on the side you'll be able to put whatever accessories you want to, like a light, laser, whatever you need. Even at the bottom here, you can see there's also another Picatinny rail you can put on your bipod. If you don't want this magazine in the way. So it is quite light um, in the hold. If you can see, it's also got a nice safety over there. So once you see red, that means for fire. If you don't see red, that means it's on safety. And obviously, it's a two-stretch trigger. You can adjust it. And then, obviously, it's got a nice AR-15 grip there. So you'll be able to change your grips, whichever one you would like. Another thing is what people haven't mentioned about this gun. You can adjust your power. And if you have a look at that, right here at the bottom, look at that. See there, you put in your Allen key and you can turn it up or down. And this is the way you fill it up, right over there. So, let's put on a scope on this little bad boy here. And let's take it out to 50 meters. And let's go see what it does. So, I've installed a titanium xenon scope there, 4 to 16 by 44, first focal plane. These scopes are really nice. If you have a look at those reticles on this thing, it's pretty good. Um, we have this Kansas Lantran uh, scope mounts where they've got those bubble levels built into them. If you can see that, this is for a Picatinny rail one. And obviously you can loosen it with a thumb screw at the bottom for quick reference to take it off, on and off. And it's got these throw levers. And if you have a look at this scope here, 
we've got a honeycomb. So the honeycomb will help also for like a sunshade and then as well some birds do see your eye when you look through here and you start blinking they can see it. So if you see that big eye of yours in there and it starts blinking it will give away your position wherever you're sitting and hiding out for whatever you're shooting. So it's just to help you hide away and the glare of the sun shining on it so it doesn't shine a bright little diamond in the bush there. So it's quite nifty. If you would see, like I spoke about this true ambidextrous cocking lever, this one is sitting on the left hand side, which makes it good for repeating. So if you've got a whole lot of pigeons sitting down there, all you need to do is, I've got my finger on the trigger, and then I've got my left hand on this cocking lever. So I can just do that, and then just keep on with my follow up shots. Just make sure that you don't push the safety there. Look at that. So you see, that's how it's done. We're gonna show you how to fill it up and how easy it is. Just make sure you've got a 300 bar cylinder. Make sure it's all the way in. Close off your bleed valve there. You open it up all the way and it fills it quite slow, not too fast, but just the right speed. You do it all the way up to 300 bar. Once it's there, close it off, bleed it. Just as easy as that. Another thing I want to show you We are going to shoot these Jumbo RS's, they are 13.43's If you have a look at this magazine, I don't know if you guys can see clearly But inside there, you don't have to really put your finger at the bottom to catch the pellet You just go a little bit away there and it falls into place and it doesn't go right through so if you do do it over the hole obviously it is then going to fall straight through so make sure that it doesn't do that so there's like a little gap in between there so what i do is i just normally do that the last one you would put your finger and that's that it's very easy to put it in the magazine well like that see it's got like a little clip to it and then yeah we're here at 50 meters we are going to do a five shot grouping and we are shooting with these like i said 13.4 three grains um jsbs uh while we're shooting them is remember this is a small bullpup it's very short with a barrel so the speeds won't be as high as the longer ones so this would be a perfect gun for shooting pigeons inside the warehouse and so on um, tight spaces that you can shoot it's not that loud and it's very compact and the pellets won't necessarily pass right through the pigeon and then go right through the the factory roof so this thing is a good pesting little bullpup really like it so let's put five shots down range and let's see how it performs okay so i'm going to shoot on the left hand side and then the long in the next review we'll do on the right hand side and we'll do a comparison So let's go and see that grouping downrange. That's at 50 meters. We're down here at 50 meters. There was my aim point. As you can see, there is four shots right there, and there's the fifth one, which I pulled at the last. But if you can see that grouping at 50 meters as well, it's in an inch size. Um, with the wind, with those small light pellets, they do deflect a little bit, but there's no problem with that. Um, I really like this grouping. Uh, one thing I want to also mention is, uh, just imagine how nice it would be with those Hades. 
those uh, 15.89s uh, for ratting maybe around the yard and shooting pigeons off the buildings like really up to 50 meters is awesome even the predator polymags will do a great job so that gun i think is pretty nice because it's very compact you can even use it out of your vehicle if you need to go and shoot a couple of things around you and it's a good pesting air gun that um, definitely it's got quality the quality on those guns are superb uh, they are one of the leading top brands of air guns out there with all the other names um, if you can have a look at that thing in, or if you can even hold it yourself come and feel it out and you'll really see why i say that is a quality air gun um, furthermore i really like it and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and we'll do on the next review we'll do the long the vixen long so this is the vixen the normal one it's not the short uh, we call it the short because it is very short and yeah we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching